LEAD stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. And, and what it is, it's a, it's a set of standards and practices and uh, guidelines in order to help um, developers or, or owners um, develop their site in a way that it improves the, the overall efficiency and also reduces their carbon footprint, so to speak, uh, both in the construction phase and in the long term. Some of the things um, on our end, on the construction end, uh, which contribute to this this lead point are things like recycled content, uh, using materials that that contain a certain percentage of recycled material, and there's two different types of recycled material: post-consumer and pre-consumer. The copper we're using, you'll see a lot of copper on the outside of this building, uh, has a certain has about 20 percent recycled content. Terrazzo flooring has recycled content in it. Um, really, you'd be surprised how many materials uh, that you're able to use uh, contain recycled content. And right now, we're actually using we're projecting about 34% of this building will be recycled. I believe even a lot of the structural steel has recycled. Absolutely. Matter of fact, steel is probably the most recycled. There's up to 96% of that steel is, uh, is recycled. Another thing we're pursuing is regional material, uh, where, where the idea is to, is to attain products and materials that are within the 500-mile radius of the actual site. Um, and right now we're looking at about 23% of the building has come from within that 500-mile radius. And this, uh, this cuts down on, on obviously, uh, transportation, which is, which is, uh, which is certainly something that, that everyone's conscious of now with, with gas prices and just even and pollution. It's as simple as that, really. It's, it's little things like that.